Power is a curious thing. Who lives, who dies. Power resides where men believe it resides. It's a trick, a shadow on the wall. Although the Game of Thrones is a fantasy, um, it's, it's inspired at least in part by, the, by real historical events. Uh, I drew on the, the Crusades, the Albigensian Crusade, on the Hundred Years' War, uh, and particularly on the Wars of the Roses, uh, which was probably the one historical event that most heavily inspired mine. But, you know, I added dire wolves and dragons and uh, I played with it to, uh, to make it my own. So it's not, a, it's not an actual precise transcription of history, but history does inspire it, particularly the level of, uh, of politics. The time to strike is now. The Starks fight the Lannisters, the Baratheons fight each other. Now, I love fantasy. I've been reading fantasy since I was a kid, but in, in my mind, much of modern fantasy was far too simplistic. It was, you know, the good guys versus the bad guys, the, the guys in the white cloaks versus the guys in the black cloaks. Um, and real life isn't like that. History isn't like that. History is, is far more complex and, and full of subtleties and, and uh, many players for each contest, not just two sides. Uh, and I wanted to reflect that in, in my fantasy and bring some of that to, to the books. What do you know about warfare? Nothing. I know that our enemies hate each other almost as much as they hate us. I love these characters. They are, in, in, in a sense, my children. And I started writing this series in 1991, so, you know, I've been living with them for, for decades now. And when it comes time for one of them to die, it's, it's tough. It's, you know, like uh, putting down a favorite pet who's gotten very old. <laughs> and, you know, it has to be done. It has to be done for, this, for the sake of the story in the case of my books, but that doesn't make it an easy thing to do. So, uh, but the story comes first. And I try to say, when, when readers say, why did you kill so-and-so, I say, well, I didn't, I didn't kill them, this other character killed them. A very small man can cast a very large shadow. Tyrion's my favorite character, playing the casting game, and we said, well, Tyr Tyrion has got to be Peter Dinklage. And uh, when time came, we just went out and thankfully we were able to get Peter Dinklage. And of course now he's won an Emmy and a Golden Globe and uh, a Scream Award. And we hope, I think, many more awards for him to, uh, to come.